In this demonstration, you'll learn how to use and obtain journal command language recordings from Ensite. You can then obtain Python equivalent commands of your Ensite operations by using operations in Ensight, along with simple Python functions to create a macro for saving images. To open the command dialog, select File, then Command. Ensight is always journaling what you are doing through the GUI and essentially has a continual journal running. The journal can be viewed at any time and can also be saved when needed. Ensight's preferred method of scripting, macro, and batch operation is using Python. In your command window, select all of the operations and choose Copy by right-clicking the current selection. Next, head over to the Python tab within the same window and press on New Python File. A dialog opens allowing you to type in Python commands. You can go ahead and paste the text that was initially copied into this window. Once copied, reselect them and go to Edit, and choose Convert Selection to Native Python. This is the quickest and easiest way to get from a journal language to Python. This will create Python syntax and all these commands will become valid Python operations. You could then wrap your larger script, macro, or workflow in this Python construct. You can see here the different operations accomplished by you, such as coloring and visibility operations. You can now save the script file and name it as you wish by heading over to File and selecting Save Script File As. You now have a valid Python script which you can rerun in Insight. There are a couple of different ways you can load the Python script. You can read it in here within the Python editor by selecting Edit Python File and reading it in. You can also head to File, Open Script File. You're essentially calling on the script and running it directly through the Python editor here. You can also run it from the Execution tab within the Command window. Load it by selecting Browse via the Load field box. In this demonstration, you'll be saving an image with certain attributes, such as default print colors, 1920 by 1080 size resolution, with PNG formatting. You can automate this via Python. Begin by inputting a placeholder comment line in your command window under Command Entry to differentiate where you currently are. Head over to File, Export Image, set the format to PNG. You can now see these settings added to your command window. Under the Advanced tab, set the window size to User Defined and to 1920 by 1080. Set your prefix as image out and toggle convert to default print color. Hit OK. You now have the set of commands that were initially specified. Select these new settings and copy them. Head over to the Python tab, press on new Python file and paste the copy settings into the window. Next, convert them to native Python. For the sake of this tutorial, we will load an existing Python script that was already created prior to this video. You can now see the different options you have set within the Python script. The image format, size, and resolution are now defined. The only thing missing now is a unique file name. There's actually a Python module called DateTime. You can import this module by typing import DateTime at the top of your window. Set the base name as having Ensight and something else that is unique. There are now two components to the file name. One will be a base name which you will call base name is equal to nsite underscore image and the other part of the file name will be a unique name. You can use time for the unique name. Therefore, using the datetime module, you can grab what is the current time and use that as an injection here to write a file that is unique. Write out the syntax necessary for this step. This will return, in this variable declaration, a string which has the components of the current time. Specify the unique part of the file name by typing unique underscore part, shown here. Add the following string following the unique part line. Open the directory these files will be exported to and run the script. If you look in your directory, you can see you have a file created which is prefixed by Ensight image and contains all the unique file name attributes you specified prior to running the script. Here is what the image looks like. You can then run this macro again and will notice another image file created in the same directory. 
you have now created, with Python, a collection of commands that came directly from Ensite, aside from your new file name command. You can always come up with another mechanism to have a unique file name aside from the base name script at the very top of your window. In this example, you use time but can also replace it with another type of option depending on your needs. This concludes our demonstration on how to use and obtain journal command language recordings from Ensite.